Hey guys, I'm back for another weekly update. A lot happening to my Brooklyn Nets. Kind of upset about what's happening, but it happened over the course of Shabbat the other day. Kenny Atkinson got fired, and they called the mutual dismissal, but like the writing was on the wall. Kenny was kind of fired by the Nets organization. I mean, Kenny said that they want he didn't want to, but who doesn't want to coach Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving? Like that doesn't sound like a bad thing to ever do. KD seemed like he liked him. It kind of looks like it, the blame is going to be put on Kyrie as always, which kind of makes sense. It's fair, but a lot of the reports have been lately saying that it was more DeAndre Jordan's voice in the clubhouse, which is kind of stupid because DeAndre Jordan's role in the team is not that big. He's a backup center. He's not as good as Jared Allen. He is, I mean, maybe he is as good as Jared Allen, but the potential and long-term effect of, of, on the team of Jared Allen versus DeAndre Jordan isn't really comparable. Uh, Jared Allen is a key piece of the future of this team. DeAndre Jordan's here because he's friends with KD and he's friends with Kyrie. And if DeAndre Jordan not starting is the reason that Kenny Atkins got fired, it's kind of ridiculous. And but now we have Jack Vaughn as co coach. And, you know, like, moving forward, what happens to Kenny, I think teams that are developing are, like, the best odds to go get him because, you know, he's proven that he's a great at the developing younger players into stars. If we have, we've seen Karras go, we've seen Jared Allen, we've seen Dimwitty. I wouldn't call them all stars, but they all can play at high levels. And uh, I think so. Teams like the the Knicks, teams like the Bulls, Hawks, things like that. Those kinds of teams can do really well with a coach like Kenny Atkinson. And moving forward, the Nets with Jack Vaughn, they'll probably get another coach in the off season. I don't really know exactly what. And be on the lookout for a trade for a third star because this is Nets signaling this is the end of us developing players. This is us taking over. This is how we're going to do it. They will ho hopefully and probably look be in the market to trade for a guy like Bradley Beal or maybe even Anthony Davis. I doubt it, but it, he will be a free agent open to signing trades this offseason. So anything can happen.